Hey guys, Shadow Wolfie here, and today we're playing some more, uh, hardcore, but before we get started, this is indeed a lapis lazuli necklace, and shout out to so you guys, 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 so and, um, yes, I do indeed have stories to tell you guys, of course, they have to do with Bob, <laughs> you know what, they all have to do with Bob, because Bob is an idiot, Bob is in- I hate Bob. I hate Bob so much. I can go on for hours how much I hate Bob. Oh. Bob is just a pure idiot if I've ever seen one. And, uh, trust me, I've seen a lot of idiots. A lot of idiots. But, you know, of course, I do not say this to his face because I am not mean, for one. Number two, that would just be an idiotic move. And that would make me the idiot. And if I said that to him, I would get my freaking tail. Oh, uh, uh, my my tail. No. <laughs> okay. Anyways, what happened for today, you may ask. Well, let me tell you. So I walk into class, right? I was extra early, the first person in the class, to be exact. Um, I get there early all the time. I don't know why, but I do. Actually, I do know why. It's because I want to see my friends. Um, even though I only have one friend in that class, which is social studies. And I hardly talk to that friend, which is sad. Goodbye. So, uh, right. So in that class, I I thought that nobody would arrive like after me. Like I know they would arrive after me because school and everything, but I didn't think it would be true what I just said. All right, so Bob enters the classroom, right? Okay, great. Got that covered. Great. Ten out of ten. Um, and Bob decides, you know what? I'm gonna talk to Shadow for today because. Ha! Oh, I love making her just facepalm in her brain. <laughs> uh. Anyway, um, hello, zombie. So, um, Bob, Bob comes and he uh sits next to me, right? And he starts up a conversation. And I'm like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 no, you do not start a conversation with me, sir. That's rude and disrespectful of you, and, uh, I'm too awkward for my own good, you know? Okay? I think he low-key knows he's stupid, and I'm sorry that I use that term. That's usually not a term that I use. <laughs> oh, I should really stop using those cringy terms. Um, so right. He just starts up a conversation about me, about, about salt. And you know what, I would usually, uh, usually I would respond to salt because salt is great. But he's like, hey, this salt I put on my saltine crackers and it looks like a, a, a certain drug insert here and I think the cops may arrest me Well. Well, well, that's your own problem. Don't talk to me about it. Gee, go figure that out yourself, okay? Gee, man. Um. So, right. He starts talking to me about this salt that he made. And I'm just like, eh, can you stop talking to me, please? I didn't actually say this to him. I just kept silent and laughed quietly to myself while my friend walks past during this conversation. My friend that walked past is probably just like, I would, but nah. <laughs> uh, so right, the conversation goes on for about a minute or so, and I keep quiet and all that, and then the conversation transforms from salt to gum. I wasn't even talking in this conversation, mind you. I was just nodding my head like the awkward person that I am. Because awkwardness is great. <laughs> uh, so, he's like, do you know this person? Insert here. And I'm like, yeah. 
this person is my science lab partner, and, uh, yeah. So, he talks about this person, and this person is a human, so I don't really have any attachments to this person. They're not my friend, they're not an acquaintance, they're nothing, really. I mean, yeah, they have feelings and everything, they have their own problems, but in my life, they're not really anything to me. I don't hold a special opinion, well, except the fact that I hate all humans. Uh, <laughs> and do not, do not go saying, well, we're all humans. In my language, humans means another thing, okay? Do, just don't assume things, okay, people? Great. Uh, so, he starts talking about gum, and I'm just, like, nodding my head, wondering when he'll go away, because Bob... I really don't like you, and can you please stop talking for one darn second, Bob? So the conversation ends, and I'm just like, hey, please don't talk to me again, okay? The things that I say, like, the things that I say in response to Bob, I don't actually say. Unless I say that I say them, then I do. <laughs> it's a big confusion, I know. Um, so... Then we transform into this project that we're doing, class has started, right, and we need a partner. Now, I would have been partners with my friend, but we could only be partners with our table members, and heck to the no, I wasn't being partners with Bob. Heck to the no. Heck to the no. <laughs> uh, so, so, across from me, to the left, there's a smart person of the group, not the Aquarius guy, the other guy. Uh, he's he's funny. He's probably a Gemini, I'm guessing. I think that's why I feel at ease with him. I mean, he's the most weird in that group, and I just like that. Because weirdness is great, man. Not saying I have a crush on him. No. No, 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 no. No. Okay, no. Um, so I'm like, hey, you want to be partners? And he's like, eh. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, because I'm an awkward person, and I don't know how to speak to people correctly. And then Bob is just like, yeah, we know. And I'm just like, can you be kind for once? I mean, being an idiot is one thing, but being an idiot and unkind my friends. You're not my friend, but my friends. That's not gonna get you far in life, okay? It really isn't. It's one thing to be dumb and kind, but it's another to be idiotic and unkind. So I suggest you to shut your mouth and go on with your little partner. Goodbye. <laughs> I just roasted him. I just roasted Bob. I'm sorry, I'm not like that. It's just, I have such rage against him. I hate when people aren't kind. Just gets me mad. I don't know. <laughs> Kindness is a big thing in my life. It always has been. And time for the daily steak. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. So, yeah. The person, we're gonna call him, uh... Anthony. So Anthony sits next to me. He's my partner. And he's the smartest of the group. He's book smart. He's street smart. He loves to read books. Especially when he's not supposed to. And I admire that. I admire a good bookworm. Because I myself am a bookworm. And an egghead. So, um... He says this. Shadow. <laughs> queen of boys. And I'm just like... No, no, back away, goodbye, uh, voice crack, gee, uh, so yeah, I'm just sitting here writing, doing my work, all that good stuff, and, uh, Anthony just looks over at my screen and he's like, and I'm just like, heh, you know, I'm a fast writer, I like to write, heh, I, I completed a book, ha, heh, and yeah.
I also proved Anthony right, and it was great. And I'm just like, I'm proud. I'm proud for proving myself right, because I will prove you right no matter what. I just tell I am. I'm sorry. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in Paris, humans, and bye!